Today what we're going to do is take a look at a setting in the replenishment templates called allow wave demand to use unreserved quantities. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off and take a look at the setup for this one. So we're going to go under warehouse management underneath setup and then replenishment templates. Now I've got a template set up here uh, for min max replenishment. And in this first round, I'll leave that box unchecked. So this replenishment template is pretty simple. It's for part number L0100. So if I click on the select product here, that's the only item that it's going to look at is L0100. And then I've got a minimum quantity of 250 and 300, and this is a minimum and maximum replenishment. So if we go ahead and go and run that replenishment, the replenishment job here, and I've already got it set up to run the min max 64 replenishment. I'll say OK to that and let that run. OK, now, so that should have created one replenishment work for us. I'm going to go under warehouse management work, then go into the warehouse and look at the open replenishment work here. So I did get created one, one replenishment for site 66, uh, warehouse 64. If we go and look in that one, I've got, uh, it's, it's basically pulling 300 from bulk and then moving 300 to pick. Okay. So with that setting set, let's go to a sales order now and let's release an order for that same item. So I'm going to go into, go to my uh, sales orders here. And I've got a sales order that's already been created for, uh, for us wholesales. So we'll go ahead and open that one up. And it is for our item, our L0100 item uh, for one, right? So I'm going to go ahead and release that to the warehouse. And it's going to give me a work that's been created. And it's going to tell me that um, I've got uh, frozen work because of replenishment. So let's go and look at the replenishment work that got created for that now. So we're going to go back to warehouse management. And I'm going to go to work, and then I want to go back to under warehouse, look at the open replenishment work. And so now I've got two. So I still have my initial one for 300, and then I've got a new work that was created for just for that sales order for the wave demand. Uh, so I'm picking one um, out of bulk and moving it to, um, to the pick location. Okay, so let me reset everything, and then we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go ahead and check that box and see the result of that. Okay, so I've reset everything back to where it was. I've deleted all the replenishments um, and, and just reset right back where we were. So let's go back to our warehouse management um, and then our setup and replenishment templates. And let's see what the effect of checking that box is. So here's my MinMax64. I'm going to edit that. And then I'm just going to uh, simply check that box right there, allow wave demand to use unreserved quantities. All right, so we'll go ahead and rerun our replenishment. So I'm going to go to, back to warehouse management, replenishment, and then run the replenishment job. And we'll say OK to that. And then once it's run, we should st still see this exact same replenishment get created. So let's go back to, now that that's finished, we'll go back to and look at our open replenishment work. And then we have our replenishment again. So this should be exactly the same as we saw before. So we've got uh, 300 from bulk going down and going to be put into the pick location. So let's go back to our sales order now and, and re-release that sales order. Sales orders. And we'll pick the same sales order. So again, I've reset it back to where I can re-release this. Same item here, L0100. And then we'll go back to our warehouse and release to warehouse. We get our same message that um, that the work can't be unfrozen because there's replenishment work. So let's go ahead and look at our replenishment work now. So we're going to go back to warehouse management, and then we're going to look at our open replenishment work. All right. So this time we only we still only have our original uh, replenishment work here, and then let's take a look at all work. We should have a a work for that sales order, which we do. And when we open that, it still should be blocked. Just like if we were doing wave demand work, right? So we have a blocked wave here. So it's, which means it's not going to let a worker action this work until that replenishment is complete. So once the re replenishment is complete, it'll unblock this, this piece of work. So the effect of that setting, so if we go back to our replenishment work here, or actually our replenishment template, 
The effect of the setting is that if this is checked, what it's going to do, the system will go out and look for um, min-max replenishment work that's still open, that hasn't been completed yet, and then will reserve against those quantities when the sales order release. So it won't actually create a new piece of work for the sales order. If it's unchecked, it doesn't really look at any existing replenishment work. It will create a new work uh, for that specific sales order. So this setting can be very useful depending on how you do your min-max replenishments and your wave demand replenishments. You know, in certain circumstances, you may you may want uh, the wave demand to actually look for min-max uh, replenishments that are still open, and in some instances, you may not. So just wanted to cover do this quick video to cover cover that setting. I'm going to go ahead and link back in. I've done previous videos on on how the wave demand replenishment works and on how the wave min max replenishment works. I'll link those in the uh, video description below. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and hope you can find it useful. Thank you.